dawn in a wood in northern Germany, and Guy Farmer and his platoon come under fire whilst advancing to clear the wood of enemy positions. During the week, Guy works as a management trainee with Allied Lions, but in his spare time, he's an officer in the Territorial Army. Here, his job is to lead his platoon of 30 men. Just That's down fine, Guy. Got it. How's the man? Okay. Fine. Great. It enables me to get out of a, um, a very, very busy environment um, at work, and I can then relax in the TA at the weekends. I have a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun with a lot of friends. It tends to give me a release from the tensions of uh, the week at work, as it were. Um, I have a desk job, and uh, to get out and about makes quite a change. The Territorial Army, which operates alongside the regular forces, provides nearly 40% of the Army's fighting units in Europe and makes a 52% contribution to home defence unit numbers. Its officers come from all regions and all walks of life. Good morning, John. Nice to see you again. Richard Brooker works for an industrial dye manufacturer in York, spearheading their advance into the Far East market. Well, I had quite a bit of spare time, and um, it seemed as though I could do something which might uh, occupy weekends and um, go away with a few friends who were already in the TA. Uh, they told me about uh, a bit of travel and a bit of adventure. quite like being outdoors at weekends, having a, a reasonably desultory job during the week, so it seemed like a good thing to do. Comradeship, I think, is uh, number one for me. Um, we're a platoon, and we're a team, and we have to work together. And if we don't work together, it all falls about. So that's one good thing. I think employers sometimes feel that uh, you can't serve two masters. And that's perhaps a negative point of view. However, if they knew more about the TA, I'm sure that they'll see that there are benefits. For instance, I've done more management training with the TA than any civilian organization could ever hope to give me, unless they sent me away for two or three years. Hello, Zero. This is Quebec 2-1. We are now at Long Leap. 25% of TA units are committed to home defence. The remainder operate as part of the nation's contribution to the British Army of the Rhine and NATO's land forces in mainland Europe. So Merseyside dentist John Cuccio and his field ambulance unit find themselves providing medical cover during a river crossing on the Weser, south of Hanover. Well, I've always had a lifelong interest in uh, matters military. And about four years ago, I decided, unless I did something about it, that uh, I'd be far too old. Uh, my personal feeling is that uh, I felt a need to perhaps serve the country, and the TA provided me with that opportunity. Personally, I get a tremendous satisfaction and enjoyment. There are a lot of pressures and stresses in my own uh, professional life, and I'm not saying that there aren't uh, stresses and pressures in the TA. There are, but they're a completely different set of uh, pressures and make different demands. It's given me a much broader outlook on life that I didn't have before. And I think I'm the richer for that. Come, Makomsky. David Whiteleg works as a chemical analyst with Tetley's in Kidderminster. I want you to form up on the right. I've always been interested in the army to a certain extent, and I wondered just exactly what it was like. So I decided to go down and have a look for myself. And I found, much to my amazement, really, that I not only enjoyed it, but I was reasonably good at it as well. And uh, as I progressed, I gained more confidence in myself and uh, I gained a lot of skills and a lot of um, knowledge about myself. When you actually go out and do something that you don't know whether you can do or not, you learn more about the person in yourself, what strengths of character you've got, what weaknesses, how you can overcome difficulties. It's a gradual building process. The more you try, the more you learn about yourself. Justin Charlton Brown is based in Fulham and works as an investment analyst at Kleinwerk Grievesen in the city. Yeah, can you tell me why the oil sector is so strong at the moment? Hello, Zero. This is Foxtrot 40. I enjoy it a great deal. There's a lot of job satisfaction in knowing that you've done something and hopefully done it well. I think that the role I have as a troop leader in an armoured reconnaissance regiment is perhaps the most exciting that there is in the regular army or, or the TA. I have to work with a troop of 12 soldiers who come from all walks of life, some of whom may well be more intelligent and indeed better paid than I am in civilian life. And it's my job to communicate with them, to ensure that what I ask them to do, they believe is, is competent, and so they will willingly get on and do it. We'll go as we are, you lead on. It makes your decision-making process much quicker, because you have to be able to react very quickly out on exercise. 
your ability to think logically and analyze a situation, I think, is enhanced because logical analysis is the backbone of orders and decision-making in the army. I think it does change you. It, it depends upon, your, obviously, your personality when you join, but I think uh, it obviously improves your confidence um, and it teaches you self-reliance. The Territorial Army finds its officers from a variety of sources. There are those already serving in the junior ranks of the Territorial Army who are selected for promotion. Then there are those who come directly into the Territorial Army via the direct entry scheme to train as officers. And of course, there are cadets from the University Officer Training Corps. Many of the people in these three groups may have been in the combined cadet force at school. All these potential officers have to go through a demanding selection procedure. Finally, there are regulars who, having enjoyed their regular service, wish to carry on as Territorial Army officers. The University Officer Training Corps has branches covering 41 universities, polytechnics and colleges across the country. Here on Tyneside, students from Durham University gather for their weekly training session. When I started at university, um, I joined with the OTC. Having been a cadet, I was very keen to come and join. It gets me out of the medical school into a new faculty, doing things with different people outside in the open air, as opposed to sitting at my desk doing very little the weekends. Chester is one of the centres for TA officer selection. And this weekend board is attended by 30 young people who are evaluated using the same procedures as those used for regular army selection. As well as group discussions, there are one-to-one -one interviews and practical command tasks to perform on the camp assault course. All the weekend's activities are devised to determine officer leadership potential. I met people this morning that I've never met before and already we're all first names and everyone's talking and you find out so much about everybody in just a few hours we've been together. And it's like one big family, it's like brother and sister. You can't do anything on your own. You know, you've got to help everybody else and they help you. Everybody pulls together. Once selected, all officer cadets, following preparatory training, attend the two-week officer training course at the famous Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in Surrey. An officer's job is to communicate with, understand and lead his men. And to do this, he must be fitter than they are. So to succeed at Sandhurst, he must be really fit. Practicing tactics alongside regular army instructors also forms an important part of the course, developing command and leadership skills. Okay, go, but it's not all physical work. Sandhurst has a fully equipped TV studio where officer cadets can work on their public speaking skills. William III came to Britain. But how many of you, I wonder, have studied the mysterious language of the glass region? And in the classroom, man management techniques and likely scenarios are worked through and solved with one of the academy's regular army instructors. Jones was drunk. He started to chat up the girlfriend of a local German. The German told Jones to go away. As evening progressed, as the German was getting more and more, sorry, angrier and angrier with me, I decided that I'd better leave the bar. Well, as I got up to leave the bar, the German also stood up. And then I tripped. And unfortunately, my head landed center of his face. <laughs> and he fell over. Right. <laughs> well, stop it there a moment. That is not the story I've heard. Well, of course not, sir. Of the Germans are comment, not going to tell, tell you that they... There are two sides to every story. Yes. I've now heard yours. The story I have heard, and I've been down to see the manager today. Ah, now the manager, he is... A, and did you know, sir, and, and during the war, he fought against... I don't the want to know about that. He did, sir. I don't want to know about that. What you did, I'm afraid, was overreact. Tim Henry, an estate agent from Bristol, is one of the young officers on the course. What has he got out of it? I love it. It is an incredibly satisfying hobby, if you like. I mean, job comes first, obviously, because that is my prime source of income. Um, but uh, a lot of satisfaction, enjoyment. I get around, I do things I've always wanted to do. 
Put down the law! The main thing was fitness. I need to be more physically fit um, to lead. You, know, you have to lead from the front, and therefore fitness is the prime of prime importance. Good afternoon, Mrs. Rees. Hello. Hello, Tim Henry. Nice to meet you. In a state agency, you're dealing with every uh, sort of person under the sun, from from um, you know, the chap who walks in off off a building site who wants to buy a house to to the guy who wants to buy a two hundred fifty thousand pound house. So you have to relate to the individual. And I think here, it's, 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 it's brought that out and has uh, honed down the edges. The course ends with a full dress parade to which proud parents, employers and friends are invited. Soldiers, regular OTA, expect, and I believe quite right here, their officers to be men of complete integrity, not just in things military, <clears throat> but in every aspect of their lives, both their public lives and their private lives. Don't let them die. When you leave Sandhurst, you will be a second lieutenant in the Territorial Army, and this means a great deal. For a start, you'll have learned to be more confident and able to make quick decisions, often under pressure. But above all, you will have improved your leadership skills. And remember, your training as an officer in the TA doesn't stop there. It is a continual and comprehensive process. Apart from Sandhurst, there's the Junior Division Staff College and also the Staff College at Camberley. And courses on such subjects as electronics, accounting, instruction methods and field communications. From second lieutenant, you can move through lieutenant, captain, major, and if you're really good, you could become a lieutenant colonel, commanding up to 800 officers and soldiers. As an officer in the Territorial Army, you'll also have an important role to play in your local regiment, which in its turn plays a central role in the life of the community. Captain David Lutz works as a financial consultant in Wolverhampton. I felt very proud at carrying the colours. Um, it is an honour to carry the Queen's colour. The pride swells, especially when the crowd sort of gasp and whoop as you walk past. You'll be able to enjoy the Territorial Army's social side, and your wife or girlfriend can join in too. There'll be dinners and parties with like-minded colleagues, many of whom will, over the years, become close friends. Last, but by no means least, your service in the Territorial Army will greatly enhance your promotion prospects at work, since it will give you greater self-confidence, enthusiasm, and above all, leadership and man management training. Well, I suppose one always tried not to be prejudiced in the sense about an ind any individual. Uh, but obviously, in looking at, particularly a young manager or a supervisor, you, if, if he'd said to you, yes, I'm in the TA or I'm in the r and R, I think, you know, it, inevitably, he sort of, you put a little tick in your mind against that individual in terms of his personality, his ability to get on with people, his ability to lead, uh, to show initiative, to be a self-starter. Um, and it's difficult to define, but in sort of basic attitudes to life, to society. You know, you felt he just probably had something that other people didn't have. That's what the TA can give you. So let's look at what your commitments must be. First, of course, you have to be selected. Once you've joined, you're expected to attend a training evening most weeks at your local centre. Here you'll be responsible initially for welding your command of up to 30 soldiers into an efficient team and instructing them in a wide variety of skills from first aid to the tactical use of the general purpose machine gun. You will also meet your officer commanding to discuss plans for future training evenings and weekend activities. These may be exercises, gunnery practice or events like the Courage Trophy here at Camberley where men and women from regiments as far apart as Plymouth and Hull get together for a competition, including tactics, map reading, communications, orienteering, first aid, and nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare. 
They know why they joined the Territorial Army. No, just take it slow, we just want to get there. I get a buzz from commanding. Um, and also being out in the open. Terrific fresh air and it keeps me fit. Um, shy, unassuming before. Uh, I, I, I don't mind. I mean, what, what the TA does is teach you to make a fool of yourself and not worry about it. Um, and you have a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> By making mistakes, come you learn. On, on. At work, sometimes you sit there and you do fairly banal tasks and you wonder why you're doing it. And in the same instance, sometimes in the army, you can sit there and you can be a very small cog and a very big wheel. And then by informing people what, you're, what you hope to get out of them and what you hope them to do, I, th I think that yeah, that, that improves Bravo. your communication. Alpha, Yankee, Victor, Charlie. Gas, gas, gas! I'll, I'll literally have to think, right, today oh, I've got to do that, that and that, but that is less important, so I've put that aside and I can organise myself. You get a whole lot of no's during a day or a lot of negative factors and you think, oh, Christ, you know, I've been this. But I think because we operate in some really horrible conditions sometimes, it makes you go on further. When people say, can you help here, can you help there, it's not, oh, God, I don't want to help here. You just say, right, let's go and do it. As well as evening training and roughly one weekend a month, you will also go on a fortnight's annual camp. This may be held in the UK or, as in the case of Operation Keystone, may involve the airlifting of over 13,000 men to Germany, where they will be working alongside officers and men of the regular Rhine Army. The Territorial Army asks you for a commitment and it delivers a great deal in return. Your Territorial Army career will run alongside and enhance your civilian career. The qualities of leadership you learn working with your soldiers will be a great asset in any industry or profession. And the man management skills you develop, dealing with people from so many different backgrounds, will hold you in good stead whatever your job. You'll see plenty of action in the Territorial Army, and at work too, your career will benefit. Why don't you choose a career in action with the Territorial Army?